Hello and welcome to Genius Solutions Walkthrough. Today, we will be covering how to capture time using barcodes with Genius Data Collection module. Firstly, we will review the work order management module in order to demonstrate how the work order is related to a job and the work order report, as well as how this report is used to collect time. We will select job T10029 for this example. As demonstrated, this is the top level of the jobs and these barcodes represent the work orders associated with this particular job. If we select this particular work order 10159, we can see the welding required for these materials. To view the work order report for this barcode, select preview in the top right of the screen, followed by work order and then work order once again. This brings us directly to our work order preview where we can view the job number, barcode, and work order number, as well as all the materials, routings, and operations required. For example, an employee has to do welding operation in the assembly work area 3, AWA-3, for a duration of 16 hours. The barcode scanner used for these work orders is similar to this one. We will now head over to the data collection module to start collecting time. This is the data collection screen. The employee will begin by entering or scanning his employee number. The system will then automatically recognize his name as well as his start time. The employee is then prompt to enter or scan the work order number. For this example, we will use the previous work order 10159. We then have to enter the operations code for welding, followed by the machine, which was AWA-3. The time card has now been successfully created in the system. The employee must not work on this operation. We can then return to the work order management module and refresh the page allowing a progress icon to appear next to the welding operation, indicating that an employee is currently working on it at the moment. If we then click on the welding operation and select employees on task on the center menu and then select data collection, we can see that employee number P01 is currently the one working on this right now. We can also select preview followed by job number and tasks in progress on production floors to view the report that tracks all employees currently working on the shop floor, allowing us to see who is working on what. Once the employee completes the job, the time card is created and time spent on this task will be automatically added. If you'd like to know more, please visit our website at www.geniuserp.com or send us a quick email at sales at Thank you very much and see you in the next walkthrough.